This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Spicer Brothers Construction Incorporated. <laughs> So as you know, we pretty much have everything that we need here in the Del Marva Life Kitchen. We've got a stove, we've got an oven. There is one thing that we don't have, though, and that's a grill. Yeah, and you usually don't see grills in an indoor kitchen, but outdoor kitchens are a different story. Now, the other day, Sean Stryker got to make a delicious dish in an outdoor kitchen that will blow you away. Brian Spicer with Spicer Brothers Construction is a man of many talents, and he recently added Grill Master to his resume. I'm here with Brian and his wife, Heather, in their beautiful outdoor kitchen. Guys, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. All right, Brian, so you recently got into competitive barbecuing. How did that come to be? Uh, well, we've always had a passion for cooking outside, uh, barbecuing, year-round, pretty much. A friend of mine, Freddie, and uh, another friend of ours, uh, Hank, we've, you know, we've always had a passion for it. Um, a friend of our friend Hank does com competitive cooking. We went out and spent some time with him, had a little bit of fun uh, at one of his events, and then he kind of nudged us into it, got us interested into it. We entered a few competitions in the amateur or the backyard, what they call the backyard uh, category, and we did rather well. We we did two events and won both of them. So. Well, there you go, your first two you won. <laughs> so Heather, does that mean he does some cooking here at home? He does. He cooks at home a lot, but he we keep it outside. I don't let him cook too much in the house. You keep him outside <laughs> in the outdoor kitchen. All right, so what are we making today? Uh, we're making a beer can chicken today. So That's really cool. And it, so you're basically taking the chicken and putting it on a beer can. It's a pretty unique way to cook it. But exactly. What's the idea behind it? Well, it's just another way to change it up. A lot of people eat chicken. They're looking for different ways to cook it. Um, and this is something that um, you can do outside on the grill, and it just gives it a lot of flavor and uh, something different. All right, so put me to work. Um, I know there's not too much involved, so what's the first thing we need to do? All right, we have um, some softened butter there with mixed with some of our spices, and you're going to put that on the skin, under, underneath, underneath the skin. Underneath the skin, I'm yeah. sorry, under the skin. And rub that in really well. And once you um, get all of the butter under the skin, you're also going to put some slices of lime. So we're putting it under the skin. Which, what is that for? That is to uh, help keep that meat, that breast meat, moist um, and juicy while it's cooking. Uh, it also helps to infuse some of the flavors it, down into the meat. Yeah, it's like a natural encasing kind of mm -hmm. to hold all that goodness in that chicken. All right, exactly. so we have the, the, the rub underneath. We have some limes in there. We did that in advance. Um, and then next, I guess you take it and put it on the can. Exactly. We have the can here. Um, we've already got it sprayed a little bit. And you just set it right down on top of that can. All right, I think okay. I'm going to leave that to Brian. All right, now, before you do that, someone has to have the honors of taking the first few ounces out of this because if it is full it is going to make a mess in the grill so you want to get it down a few ounces i had the honors of that this morning you have right to do early it. it's, you, know, you have that to do you it. want to you have to. do not waste it okay so we're going to take this actually if we could put that up on the cutting board yes there we go and then you're just gonna look at that set that right there make it as pretty as you can form it is as you know the way it's going to look inside so competition cooking is about presentation as well so we definitely want it to look pretty so and so i guess that kind of steams it from the inside and it keeps it moist and that's mm -hmm. a really cool concept and we're not done yet you got to no, do a couple other not. things to it yeah, we're going to put olive oil we're going to cover the entire outside skin all the little um crevices just kind of rub it all on there I'll help. um and then once we get the oil on we're going to cover the entire outside skin with the rest of the seasoning. And then this is just there's some brown sugar in here, a couple other spices. Yes, some um, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Um, yep, yeah, it's it's all in there. It makes a really great taste for the skin. It gets it crun uh, crispy. Am I doing like this is really not a wrong way to, no. to rub the chicken? Just no, there's not. <laughs> just cover it. Cover it, it all evenly. Over there. Evenly is key. Evenly is key. Okay. Presentation, remember. Very cool. And I'll let you guys know at home if you want this recipe, we'll have it on our website. Um, you can also send us a self addressed stamp envelope and we'll send it to you that way. All right. That looks pretty good. Now, the last thing that we need to do, there's one more lime over here. Yes. We're going to slice that in half. Okay. If you want to do that. Does it matter which way? No. And then we're going to shove it. Um, down into the 
cavity on the other end. And then this one goes in there too? Yep. I've never Best done. As you I'm going to leave that up. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. It's hard because there's not a whole lot of room uh -huh. and you just kind of shove it down in there. Awesome. All right, so now this is going to go in the Memphis wood fire grill, yes. which is uh, it's a very special type of grill, if, I re if, I, uh, if I'm correct. Yes, it is. I'm going to put this this way because that is how it's going to go in. All righty. So what makes this grill special? Well, this grill is a grill is pretty much everything. It's a smoker. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a grill. It's an oven. It's a convection oven. It pretty much can do whatever you want it to do and it's based on the temperature settings that you have it at it you know it, it it's working off of it's it's pellet fired so the temperature is at around 225 and below it is a, a smoker you know if you like to smoke food all night you can put something in and go to bed not have to worry about it just make sure the hoppers full of uh, uh, pellets come out in the in the uh, morning and look at it and you know it can you can cook for hours on end this has to be one of the coolest kitchens I have ever seen <laughs> uh, a lot of people know you for doing roofs oh yeah but it doesn't stop there you actually installed this kitchen here yes um, tell me about these well we have the, the talents to to do many things but you know obviously we're known for roofing we started as a roofing con company as a roofing contractor but doing just roofing isn't what our customers wanted you know customers want to deal with one person so as the years went on evolution we evolved and added different uh scopes of work to our menu if you will and you know it has evolved into pretty much everything roofing siding windows doors decks so Heather, what's it like to have this space you know out back of your house where you don't have to have company inside how convenient is having something like this it, it's it's amazing I love having it out here we um, we entertain a lot and so it is nice to be able to have everyone outside as opposed to inside the house it just you feel more open and not so confined when you can be outside yeah it's it's so cool out here all right well this is what we're gonna do we're gonna let the chicken cook it takes about an hour 15 minutes which is pretty quick um, we're gonna check back in with you when it's finished and we're gonna try it <laughs> I know oh my goodness. <laughs> I love that kitchen I was saying no, my indoor kidding. kitchen isn't even not that nice and Sean was telling us also that uh, they are like the only Delaware dealer for that grill so there's the place to go find out about that nice yep. So earlier in the show, Sean was hanging out with Brian and Heather Spicer in their beautiful outdoor kitchen making a beer can chicken. Oh my goodness, that thing looks so good. Let's see what the final product is. Stryker, you're up. All right, so I want you to take a look at this picture. This is what the chicken looks like when it comes out of the wood fire grill. You can see the outside, that really nice coloring, seared to perfection. From there, we let it sit for about 20 minutes. Why do we let it sit, Brian? Well, when we take, it was standing up in the grill, and then we laid it down to help uh, redistribute some of the juices, you know, because gravity, when it's standing up, some of the juices may have settled. You lay it down, redistributes, and not to mention let it cool off a little. Uh -huh. And now, Brian, you already uh, carved up this chicken. I can't wait to try it. Um, I'm going to dig in. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm just going to kind of use my hands. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. That is so juicy. I bet it's because that, that grill gets so hot, it sears the outside, and then we put the lime on the inside of the mm -hmm. skin. You taste all of that flavor. It is amazing. It is. It's so good. Brian and Heather, thank you guys so much for inviting me out here today. I had a lot of fun. Jimmy and Lisa, this is probably one of the best chicken I have ever tasted. I'll send it back to you guys. Maybe I'll save you some. Probably not, though. <laughs> I'm not counting on it, but no. hey, 